This Rose, episode 12. <laughs>
we know, we know they're going to go after that and uh, their set piece as well. Um, it's something we're really looking forward to. We know we've got a game to, to put it on top of them and, and if we deal with them physically and, and play in the right areas, um, especially in that first half, we know with our bench and, and all our, our players we can uh, kick on and hope to get the win. Beautiful place, beautiful stadium. Um, yeah, it's an honour to be here. This is why we do it, this is why we play, so it's, uh, it's, it's going to be great. Amazing stadium, man. It's good to finally be in it. Been, uh, been looking at pictures of it for a while. Now we're here. Argentina have officially arrived at the Rugby World Cup as Marseille hosts the first Pool D fixture in the south of France. The second game will be such an important part of this Rugby World Cup as they come down to Argentina's side. Good take and hit hard is Juan Cruz Malea, the fullback. Yeah, captain, please. Yeah, I'll try tackle, going for full review. Been upgraded to a red card because there is no mitigation, high degree of danger, so it's a red against the seven. They've just scored, and it's a massive blow for England. Marcus Kremer, very back, so George Ford lines up a drop goal. It's an excellent strike. Another drop goal. And why not? It's magic in Marseille from George Ford. They go back to George Ford. It's worked once, twice, make that three times. England, lead 12-3. 86 games for his country. Sale Sharks player, former Mr. Tiger. Banks this one over for the first points in the second half. Ford turns with ease. It is England 24 points to three, they lead Argentina. Patron as England rugby. Be around here as well, watching George Ford do his thing. It is all England in this game so far, 27 points to three. And England will have silenced some of their critics as they win the opening pool D match of the 2023 Rugby World Cup. Yeah, obviously buzzing to get the first win, mate. Um, it's always great to start the tournament like that. But the boys were, were incredible tonight in terms of getting us in the right field position and winning those penalties and stuff. So, um, oh look, it's, uh, it's great to win and we'll look to build next week. I think tonight the scoreboard was critical in trying to keep it moving and ticking over. And as soon as we went more than seven ahead, it's difficult for the opposition. So. Um, yeah, the, the best the best time to go for it is when the least expect it, I suppose. So, um, yeah, no, it was, um, yeah, it was obviously good for us. The, the atmosphere was incredible tonight, and the amount of English, the amount of white shirts was... Yeah, I was taken back by it, to be honest, and we understand all the support back home as well. Um, we had a bit of a rocky time up until this game, but um, they've stuck by us, and um, we promise that we'll keep look, you know, looking to get better for next week and uh, make them proud. Yeah. 
The next part of our journey is back to the 2K and then down to Nice to take care of Japan. We go again. You should be incredibly proud of that memory that you're just going to create for the rest of your life and for the tens of thousands of England supporters that were there tonight and for a lot of millions back home that you've just created an incredible memory for. And that's what you did. Hey, 